Brent, at the very beginning of First Contact, uh, Data just literally takes a bunch of bullets for his friends and crewmates on the Enterprise. Um, he risks his life frequently uh, to, to save his friends uh, without question, and, and ultimately he sacrifices his life in Nemesis. Um, do you think Data's humanity manifests most in his willingness to sacrifice? I think that is the ultimate uh, act of humanity uh, from Data. And it, you know what, it was, it's part of his programming as well. I mean, that's what Dr. Sung put in him was this uh, ultimate, uh, you know, ability to, to sacrifice himself for his friends. And, um, but let me ask you, tell you one other, you mentioned the, um, the, the, the bullets that Data took. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was the scene where Alfre shot him several times with a machine gun or something, and, uh, yeah. or some kind of gun. Um, but this is also a story about old uh, two, two takes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were <clears throat> we were in a missile silo for that scene. Whoa! In Arizona, and uh, Patrick and I were standing aside the, the the missile on a platform that was very high in the air. And mm -hmm. uh, as typically, when, whenever I worked uh, with Patrick on a high platform, uh, he knew and knows that I am terrified of heights, and so he would be bouncing on it just to try to you know, terrified me, which, which he did. So the deal was in that scene, Alfre or, or her character is Lily is, is firing at, at us. And I say to the captain, I'll take care of it or something like that. And I jump off the platform and sail through the air down to the ground. And then she shoots me and nothing happens. But when we shot that initially, uh, it was my stunt, uh, the stunt person who worked did my stunts, uh, Brian, uh, I can't remember his name right now, but he was terrific and he could do anything. He, they called him the human bouncing ball. He was fantastic. And uh, he did that jump and Jonathan shot him coming down from the missile silo and land. And then it cut to me. So I didn't have to jump, uh, you know, 50 feet. And so, uh, they printed all of that and looked at it. And Jonathan came to me and said, listen, you can tell it's, it's not you. You're going to have to do it. And uh, so we went to a sound stage and they put me in a harness. And they, they said, we're going to take you up three feet or whatever, just so you see what it feels like. And, and then bring you down. And then we'll take you up a little higher and bring you down and then take you all the way to the top of the sound stage. And, uh, I was in a panic. I mean, really, I hate heights. Uh, I, I mean, it's odd all those years we spent in the Enterprise, and, and but it's true. And uh, so we got to film that sequence. They put me in the harness. They took me up three feet. I hated it. Uh, they brought me down. And they said, we're going to take you up another few feet. And I said, no, 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 just take me to the top. I'll, I'll never be able to do it if you keep doing this. And so they took me all the way to the top of the sound stage on, on a rope and uh, I was literally spinning like, like that. So they had a guy with a pole on a catwalk who would straighten me out and so they could do the shot. And when Jonathan said action, they were to drop me. And then a, a few feet before I hit the ground, the hydraulic kicked in and it slowed down the, the landing. Uh, and so Jonathan said action and they let go and I had to uh, focus and be data. And that was the only thing I could do because uh, if I was being me, I would have screamed. But uh, so I, I, I was able to do it and look confident and I landed and the, uh, the crew applauded and the, the stunt guys were all like great work and all of that. And I thought, wow, so glad that's over. And then Two takes comes and says, uh, I, I don't think we got this. Can you do it one more time? <laughs> Thank you, John. And, and we did. I had to do it a second time. <laughs> and so now when you see the shot, you can slow it down and you'll see it is actually me coming down that missile silo. 
That must have been like I'm sweating listening to you recount that experience. Well, it was it was terrifying. It really was. I don't like standing if I can help it. You know? I know. 